Hey everybody, if you recall uh, from watching my channel, I recently got a uh, GoPro Max 360 camera and I've been trying to work out the best way to do the reframing of this video from uh, 360 into conventional 1080p. And so uh, I compared a few different methods on the same footage and I'm going to show you that. Um, basically I shot some, some video riding my bike Friday morning and then uh, I've gone through and I've reframed it in the GoPro app on my phone also in the Garmin Verb app on my PC. And then finally, I realized I could do it directly in Cyberlink PowerDirector, which is the, the software I use for editing video. So the workflow for going into the Verb application is from uh, the phone, I basically download the file as a 360 file and then run it through GoPro's exporter. It's the GoPro Max exporter program. And then that gives you an equirectangular format that the, uh, the Garmin Verb application can use. The first video was uh, processed through the Garmin Verb application on the PC. And it has a kind of a cool advantage compared to some of the other programs in that you can actually create overlays. You can bring in your fit file and then add things like speed, distance, heart rate, cadence, all those things that, that are collected by your cycling computer. You can overlay those on the video. But the video quality doesn't look very good to me. It looks like a lot of detail was lost. So I'm not sure why, but it just seems like the Garmin Verb PC application doesn't like to work with the footage from the GoPro Max. Take care. The second video sequence was processed using the GoPro phone app, and I think it turned out really nicely. The quality seems to be really good when I run it through that, uh, through that application and then download from my phone to my PC. So I'll show this to you here, and you can see the detail is really nice. Everything looks really good. Uh, so, so far, visually, I think this is the best looking of the footage. Take care. The final sequence was the same footage but run through the, uh, the PowerDirector workflow. So basically I took it from the phone as a 360 file, ran it through the GoPro exporter, then imported it into PowerDirector and did the reframing there. And this looks very good to me also. Maybe not quite as good as the GoPro phone app, but very close. Take care.
So in order to make it easier to see the differences between these three different workflows, I've put all three of the videos together uh, in sections of like one third of the screen each, and you can look at them side by side. And it's, you know, you can see that the framing and the, and the key frames are different. So the videos are not the same. Obviously I, I did them through three different uh, things at three different times. So they're not gonna match up exactly, but you can still compare the quality pretty closely between these three. So I hope this was interesting to you. I found it to be a really cool process uh, doing this, doing the same video in three different tools. Uh, it was really interesting to see how it came out. And I think the thing that, that I came away from this with, uh, the lesson I learned is that the Garmin Verb uh, edit application is really neat in terms of the overlays, but I didn't like the way the video came out. The uh, one thing that is kind of cool about it in terms of reframing is that it gives you a very precise numeric indication of angle and rotation and tilt. So if you like working with, with kind of like a nice precise geometric view of the thing, that was kind of cool. The phone app is very organic. You're just looking at the screen and, and stretching and dragging and clicking and moving. And so it's, uh, it's really kind of cool in that regard, but it's a little less precise and, and, and you kind of wonder if you're, you know, it's, it's not as clear what you're doing. But the video quality is really excellent when you do that. And then uh, using PowerDirector was actually really nice too because I could start the video playing and then while it was playing I could actually move things around and it would put in the keyframes automatically. So that actually was a very smooth flow as well and it gave me a good quality video in the end. So going forward I think I'm probably going to stick with either the phone app or PowerDirector. And the major advantage for PowerDirector for me is that it, it's one tool, it's what I use for all my video editing. And also, it didn't crash. And the GoPro phone app is notorious for hanging up and crashing on me. So, um, and, and I'm constrained for space on my phone too. So I think I may end up using the PowerDirector workflow quite a bit. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. If you have a GoPro Max or if you do any kind of 360 footage editing, um, please let me know what you think. And uh, if you've got feedback or suggestions for me, let me know. Because I'd like to learn. I'm still figuring this out as I go. And I would love to hear from those of you who are watching this. So if this was helpful, please click the like button for the video and subscribe to my channel for new content coming up soon. Thank you.